hello and welcome back to my channel everyone i hope that you've been doing well today i have my very first story time and i'll be talking about my half one experience i'll be sharing the good the bad and the funny uh, things that have happened during my time working at different hub ones here in South Korea. For those of you who do not know, I've been in Korea for over four years and I have worked at five different hub ones during the time, the longest period being two years and the shortest period being two months. No, I did not get fired. I actually quit and it's okay to quit your job as long as you have an exit plan. Now, I have a disclaimer for this video. I will not be mentioning students' names. I will not be mentioning places where I've worked. And also this will be mixed up. It will not be like from the very first time that I came here. Like the stories are not gonna be in order. So it's just gonna be things as they come to mind. So yeah, keep that in mind. It is all jumbled up, but the stories will make sense, okay? So now let's get into it. The first thing I wanna talk about is a very inappropriate director. Now I worked with a director for with a director who was older. He was an older man and he was inappropriate in that he made comments about my body, like how I looked in certain outfits and how my body was shaped. And not only that, there was actually a time when we were having a meal together with my coworkers. This was on a Friday and it was before the vacation period. So we were just having a meal together before people went about enjoying the vacation. So while we we're sitting, he asked me about my vacation plans. Now at this time, I was dating someone, so like he knew, and he knew about it because where we lived, we had to share that information. I'm not gonna get into that, but we had to share such information. And so like we we're eating, and then he asked me what I was going to do during the vacation period, and I told him I was going to go to Busan um, with my boyfriend. And he asked me if I'd be swimming in Busan and I said yes I would be swimming and the follow-up question to that was a bit awkward like quite awkward he asked me to put on my bikini so everyone would see yep he sat back comfortably so he sat back comfortably and was like why don't you put on your bikini for all of us to see and he smiled and that guys was awkward and I didn't know how to react I just like laughed nervously and everyone else just like look around awkwardly and then just quickly moved on to the next thing because it was quite awkward for me to be asked that and I think for them as well to just be a part of the situation and this director he didn't just he did say inappropriate things to me especially about my body but then he also was inappropriate with another female teacher now he had an acquaintance which used to visit often and whenever this older guy his acquaintance was also an older guy whenever he came around he would ask one of the korean female teachers to read poems to him yeah i don't know why but then he always asked this female teacher to read poems to him even though there are other korean speaking people there like she was not the only korean speaker and other people could read as well it wasn't just her but he would ask her to read and i believe she may have been the youngest female teacher that we had at our school so maybe that's the reason but yeah that's what he did the director was quite inappropriate and i don't think that he was aware of his behavior like that it was not okay the next thing I want to talk about involves animals. So I worked at a place which had a lot of animals and it was the teacher's duty for some reason to take care of the animals. Now the teachers had to feed the animals in the morning and also change the water. So put in fresh food and also put in fresh water. So the teachers had to do this and the other workers, the other employees had to take care of the garden. Now we also had rabbits there as part of our animal farm. And these rabbits liked to escape the cage and whenever they escaped it was the teacher's duty to get them back into the cage and now i don't know how many of you have experience with rabbits but rabbits are pretty fast okay they're not like turtles they're quite the opposite and like imagine you have classes to plan you have a full day ahead of you you know what you have to do like you have a full day and then on top of this you have to go around chasing rabbits because the rabbits have to be back in the cage before they're caught by the stray dogs. So yeah, that was that. And it happened more than once that these rabbits escaped. Some of us did not live too far from where we worked and we also had to take care of these damn animals during the weekend as well. Like I have nothing against the animals, but then like I did not ask for the situation. And also when I interviewed for the job, we did not have animals. Like there were no animals there, but then 
after we had started working then they got the animals and it was like our duty to take care of them so whenever we saw the rabbits out living their best lives during the weekend all of the teachers every single teacher would ignore them like look the other way because nobody wants to spend the weekend chasing rabbits as well now it's not just the rabbits that escaped we also had other animals escaping we had chickens running us we had squirrels running us we had a bearded dragon also running us like it, there was always something I think like every week there was something happening that had to do with the animals at this place and eventually they did get rid of them this happened after I had left but they did eventually get rid of the animals because they were just too much work now <laughs> the place where I worked we had to weed weed guys I mean like going out into the yard and pulling out weeds making sure that the garden is not overgrown that's something we had to do as teachers sitting out in the hot hot sun for about an hour at a time putting out weeds which was never mentioned in our contracts once again but it's something that we had to do it was not fun and usually whenever we had this additional task to do the director would buy us something to eat so now not only is it infringing on our planning time or lesson time by making us do weeding he also took away our lunch like our freedom to do what we wanted to do our lunch break with our lunch break because now we had to eat with everyone and people had plans like we had lunch plans we had things to do during that time but because of the director, we had to spend the time together. I have nothing against my ex co workers, but sometimes I just wanted to spend my time by myself. And I also did not want to do any reading. I don't think any of us wanted to do this reading. But, but because of this, I was able to finally manage to do the Asian squats, even though it lasted all of a week and then I just couldn't do it anymore. That was the situation. Now, the next one has to do with students, not just teachers and directors, but students. I've had students call me chocolate teacher before because they believed that my skin color was very similar to chocolate. And I also had a student actually lick my hand to make sure that it wasn't chocolate flavored. Yes, a student licked my hand and she looked rather disappointed afterwards because what she tasted was not what she expected and the next thing I'm going to talk about as a student I had a six, no a first grader a little girl, a cute little girl flip the freaking table in class so what happened was she and this boy were having an issue so she wrote a note to the boy about what if I had done and then the boy wrote a note back to her apologizing and she didn't want to accept the apology so she, she said she was going to go to the cops in the note and then the boy was very like upset about it and and then I, like I got the note from the students and she got upset with me for taking the note from them and she actually flipped the table and then walked out of the classroom she took a backpack and walked out of the classroom I was like what what is going on here like I was so confused and also I did not know how to react in that situation like the girl has flipped the table and I was worried that the director would come up and ask what was going on but then luckily the little girl came back within like a few seconds I think she went out for attention hoping that I'd go after her but then I did not because I was also trying to find out what the fudge was going on so while the kids were explaining to me what was happening she came back in sat down and then we were able to resume the lesson so that was ha what's happened yeah people do flip tables in real life yeah she was a strong kid because those tables were not right and the last thing i'm going to talk about is a student who grabbed me inappropriately yes i was in the elevator with a group of seven year olds because students are not supposed to take the elevator by themselves they always have to have somebody with them and this time I had a group of seven year olds and one of the boys just had his hands out and grabbed my breast and then backed up again and I was like what is happening uh, in my mind obviously I did not say it so I just acted normal and then we got out the elevator and when we met up with the Korean teacher I explained to her what well, was her group of kids I explained to her what had happened using English Korean broken Korean and body language to make sure that she understood what actually happened and that she could address the issue accordingly so she goes to the students i was there with her to just listen and make sure and then she said don't push megan don't push the other kids and i was like no no, no. in my mind I'm like no 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 that's not what happened you are not addressing the issue but i let it go 
because we had to get on with the lesson. And when I got back to, my, to the office, I talked to my coworker about it. So I explained what had happened. And then he suggested that we both go to the Korean teacher and talk to her so that she can talk to the students. So we go to her class and then we, I explain to her again what happened. And then the foreign teacher, the other teacher also adds his bit in. I don't remember what exactly he said, but anyway, I supported what I had said. So she called out the students who had grabbed me and then she explained to him that it was inappropriate and that he should apologize. But poor kid started crying or apologized and then he went back to the classroom. I'm not sure exactly what the Korean teachers said to the other Korean teachers, but then I had a group, okay, all my students actually liked to grab me, hug me, and hold me whenever I walked into the classroom or like whenever they saw me, whenever I was in the hallway, in the classroom, or in my class, they would just like come and get all over me, which I was fine with. But then this time, I went into a classroom with six-year-olds. And then these kids were the most physical out of all the kids that I had. So they came running and they hugged me and everything. And then the Korean teacher was like, no, don't do that. Do not hug the teacher. And then the kids were confused because they were used to hugging me and then like they wondered why they suddenly asked not to hug me. So they asked her why. And she said, foreigners, guys, foreigners do not like to be touched. Foreigners do not like to be hugged. And I was like, I, I, what? Like, I didn't understand. And then the kids were like, they, they asked, like, why can't we hug her? And he's like, no, foreigners do not like to be hugged. If you're going to hug her, hug her from the front. Do not touch her butt. Do not touch her chest. Just hug her from the front and then keep moving. And then kids had questions, like, they were putting their hands up and asking all sorts of questions related to not touching foreigners. And then I heard the cutest voice out of, like, from the back of the classroom. And it was a student I was familiar with. He was like a very cute kid, very physical, and I didn't mind. And then he's like, but her butt is so squishy. <laughs> yeah, because he said in Korean, like, I think the reason why he likes to hug, my, hug me was obviously because he liked me and also because my butt was squishy. I'm not sure, but he was not happy with being told that they could no longer hug me and also the teacher telling them not to hug me was ineffective because they continued to do so and I did not have any issues with that because that was originally not my issue. I did not have an issue with the kids hugging me. I had an issue with the students grabbing my breasts. Like that was not okay and that should have been and did get addressed eventually. So yeah, that's it for my story time about my Hakuan experiences. It may not be what you expected. I think some of you may have been expecting like a horror story and things like that, but then that's just not always the case with Hakuans. Other things do happen, okay? Not all of them are good, not all of them are bad. We all have different experiences and I hope that you too, if you are working in a Hakuan or a public school as well, that you do not have too many bad slash negative experiences and that you have a wonderful time here. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please feel free to give me a thumbs up or subscribe and if you have any questions, please ask me down below and I will try my best to answer you as best as I can. So that's it for today. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and week ahead and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.